This is the last quarter of the year, 2021. Some foods, Corona still going on. In fact, I'm just getting over it right now. Hopefully, I don't start coughing or sneezing. Um, I'm doing the stream and the vlog right now. So many questions, guys. I'm not going to really do questions. Maybe one or two at the end. Um, I will talk about that. This is going to be a couple of minutes. So I'm going to I'm going to hop right into this. This is braised. I guess I'll call it pot roast, homemade brown gravy, uh, made with the drippings and a roux and all that, and homemade very wide egg noodles uh this was delicious uh these are just various lunches and they might there might be a breakfast or a dinner in here this is not every meal by any means okay so i'm going to continue uh what do i have to do to continue okay this looks to be a Wendy's Baconator and Cheese Fries. I know a girl that works there and she trades um, <laughs> something for food. So it's a barter system. She had brought me a lunch, so that's what that is. This is Costco. Uh, you know those $5 rotisserie chickens that are the best chicken ever? Costco, pre-made, cooked. At my Costco, they also have just breast and also wings or thighs. So I had tried the thighs, and that's Costco's cheesecake. At my store, um, they always have it. And for my taste, it's the best cheesecake I've ever had, ever. And I've literally traveled worldwide. Uh, I like that cheesecake a lot. It's not overly lemony. The chicken was, you know, unbelievable, of course. Uh, this was some salmon broiled. Um, yeah, tartare sauce. And that is sweet potatoes. Uh, no, yams and sweet potatoes are not actually the same thing. People confuse them. But that's what that is with butter. So I gotten on a burrito kick for a while. This is a giant, uh, you know, I think that's actually a Sonic breakfast burrito. You can look that up. And cheesy fries. I think that's what that is. Unless, you know what? That's not true. This is from a place uh, run by Arabic people. That have shawarmas, hiros, gyros, and other things. And they custom made me this high protein chicken and lamb tomatoes. What is that sauce called? Does anyone know that delicious? It's like cuke. Yeah. What is it? Tzatziki. Tzatziki sauce. Uh, that burrito is bigger than it looks. And some cheese fries. Yeah, that was delicious. This is from the same place that came out of like a one-quart Chinese container. This is jasmine rice with lamb and chicken. Yes, a halal, I don't know. Uh, delicious. There's more chicken and lamb in there. It must be buried on the bottom. That was really good with tzatziki sauce in it. This was green apple, slightly out of focus. Uh, I like... Granny Smith slightly better than regular apples and nutritionally and health wise there's some reasons uh, to eat this if I have fresh fruit it's uh, often a go-to of mine and I always eat them chilled or anytime it's possible I'll cut them yeah after being in the fridge for like an hour at least normally they just kind of live in there this is, I had a hankering for some reason after the gym. A lot of these meals are after the gym. Uh, for some Taco Bell, I got into a burrito and a Tex-Mex kick for a while. And I said, why don't I just make it myself? So I got refried beans, four kinds of cheese, 
my favorite sour cream, which I'm very picky about. And I probably, I definitely had some kind of protein with this, which may or not. Uh, yeah. I don't like runny sour cream, so that's why it looks like. Um, I may or may not show the protein. It could have been, this was so long ago, I really don't remember what I ate with it. This is uh, chicken Alfredo. Alfredo is my favorite sauce. Typically, I don't like wide or thick pasta. My favorite being angel hair. For those... The what? What number? Uh, I don't know what number. Sometimes I'm going to generically say spaghetti pasta products are rated by a number. Uh, I don't know what the number is, but angel hair is the absolute thinnest. I have a reason. I like spirals shape, and I like thin, but uh, I got this somewhere, so yeah, it was really good. This is, what the hell is this? It looks delicious. It's some kind of sandwich. Uh, I see cheese, tomato, bacon, turkey. I don't remember where this was from, but in this area uh, near New York City, there's Italian uh, sub shops and pizza places, restaurants everywhere. So it could have been from, you know what? I actually do remember this. I had a customer appreciation day and got oh god five hundred dollars in food and had multiple subs and wraps and pasta courses and pizzas and all this and this was some sandwich that was really delicious fresh it was very good green apples again uh this was some kind of sub very heavy on the mayo uh, looks like turkey, lettuce, tomato, there's probably oil and vinegar, cheese, either mozzarella or provolone, one of those. I like my subs a little meatier, but uh, it was good. This may have been leftovers from my get-together. Okay, so, hmm? The knife? Oh, what, up here? That is a Bark River custom-made Jim Stewart one-of-a-kind. It's essentially a mini Kephart blade with a full-size Kephart 5 handle that was used for operations. Okay. I told you I like spiral pasta. This is spiral pasta. I like the larger one. And good God, anyone out there, make your pasta delicious and soft. Pasta should not be stupid al dente or hard to chew or gummy. It should be delicious. Uh, there is uh, some ham chunks and chicken in there. Typically, I won't just eat just pasta. Yeah, there's fresh tomatoes in there. There's probably a bunch of meat on the bottom. Yeah, homemade sauce. It's always good. But I like that shape a lot because of the way it holds sauce, the surface area. I could go into this for a while. I did a test once where I took, I don't want to say every shape, but a lot of dozens of shapes of pasta and I put them in my sauce and I weighed them before and after to see if some shapes hold more pasta. Uh, more pasta holds more sauce and does it drip off or does it stay in the nooks and crannies essentially? And there's a reason why I eat that shape. Okay. Uh, this was homemade kibasi from this Polish uh, woman I know and homemade sauerkraut with bacon in it. For those of you who don't know, I'm not talking about the canned shit. Homemade sauerkraut has profound medical benefits for your body. You don't really ever hear about that. And again, I'm not talking about if you go to your store and buy sauerkraut for a dollar in a can. Not that. It has to be homemade and it has good stuff in it like yogurt and often way more of it and other stuff 
anyway uh, I'm not a fan of sausage products that have a chewy membrane some parts of the country have is it brat or brat or hot dogs I know Chicago's big on them where you bite a sausage and it has a snap to it there's a hard outer skin I don't like that and hot dogs either I, I, I rarely eat hot dogs but when I do I get a specific one or two or three where this is not hard to chew anyway this was not this was you could just squash this with your tongue uh, she brought me a big old vat of this probably oh four pounds of each I ate this for days and mixed it with stuff it was really really good super good this is some type of fish from a fish fry I had it could have been cod or whiting or fluke or flounder I don't remember because I eat all of those but it was good uh, I either ate it plain I do like it plain if it's seasoned to my satisfaction uh, sometimes a little bit of mayo or ketchup tartar sauce uh, not so much cocktail on that but I eat a lot of fish uh, this is definitely a Costco rotisserie $5 chicken the kind it's pre-made I probably had plates and plates so I'm just showing this um, but that's definitely what I get that every trip to Costco I get one or two of those and I actually am lucky I live just a few minutes from a Costco and there's another one near my main shop so it's not a big trip for me to go it's really close uh, this is fish again uh, again I don't know what kind but it's always typically a flaky not fishy fish sometimes it's plain somebody's asking is it always fried no probably it's the least amount of time it's fried it just happens to be here that drink is probably Costco grape juice which is very important after the gym over very special ice cubes everything is a whole story uh, I, I'm not gonna get into it but I have ice makers like hotels better than some of them uh, and I've made videos of such I could talk about ice for an hour and water I don't drink regular water anyway this is from a particularly good Italian restaurant that's quite close and this is made specially for me this is not on the menu so this is a chicken cutlet and I this goes by so many names and it's usually improperly named but this is probably started off as chicken florentine and I have to make chicken fiorentina which I doubt anyone has ever had um, so Florentine <coughs> excuse me is <coughs> made so many different ways getting over corona here let me have some water it's never the same anywhere so here's what this is this is a chicken breast now at my place you get three of these so I had s several plates of this this is a big old this is a very large plate you can see the keyboard here this is a really big plate this is a chicken breast that's flattened and tenderized I don't know how thick this one is but this for most people is a you know a really good meal and there is a piece of ham or bruschetta depending what they have that day which is fried in butter and or olive oil this is spinach that is also sauteed fried in butter and or olive oil and it starts out this ham 
lays on here and the spinach goes in the middle and then another layer of ham it's kind of i don't want to call it stuff but it's it's in between i take it apart because i like it to eat i like to eat it separately and then they put a the good shit mozzarella all over it and then they make a correct alfredo sauce my recipe because if you've seen other food videos of mine which i've done quite a few i'm super picky about alfredo because traveling the world and 99 percent of the time it's been made wrong i think i've only had it to my standard being the pickiest guy ever correct and really good three times i'm gonna say two times and one was almost right close enough where i didn't bitch about it i've had it 70 percent of what i think it should taste like probably three more times and the rest is <laughs> so this place makes it right you can't really see this is angel hair i talked about pasta uh it comes with this and there is a shitload of Alfredo. Because it was sitting a few minutes, Alfredo sauce is an infusion. Look it up. And as it sits, especially if you have leftovers overnight, it will come out almost like something coming out of solution. And it'll get buttery. But I eat a lot of butter, so I don't mind it. And this was salted. This, oh my God. I'm going to have this today. <laughs> my mouth is watering this is fantastic um to eat i have to give that dish in that place a 10 made to my standards this is probably the next day uh and it has come slightly like i said out of solution out of the infusion so it looks butterier in other words the cream yeah, and the cheese, they separate a little. But in when you're actually eating it, it doesn't taste a ton different. Someone's saying, dude, you're going to die of a heart attack. I guarantee even at 6'9", well, I lost weight on Corona. I'm down to about three, 300, 302. I have better cholesterol and my entire blood profile is better than yours. Butter is not bad for you. It's super good. <clears throat> they actually use just for me Kerry Gold butter. Look that up sometimes if you don't know what that is. Uh, normally, I don't eat stuff swimming in butter like this, but let me tell you, I did not mind. And this is cheesy, garlicky, creamy butter. But I I enjoy butter, so this was not an issue for me. What these no, that's not Parmigiano Reggiano. This is, um, I always forget. There is something I like if it's the good shit. I like Parmigiano Reggiano, not craft and not four dollar a pound. The stuff I like is like ten, twenty dollars a pound. The one that I like, oh, yeah, this is Pecorino Romano, which has just way more flavor. Uh, and you, you can cheap out for like six seven dollars a pound and it's still good oh god i'm gonna have this it's so delicious okay this looks to be hmm, where was that from that's a fish sandwich and that's a weird roll uh this is chicken and or fish, cheese, some kind of sauce. That looks like tartare. I really don't remember this one. This bun is throwing me off. But I'm sure it was delicious. This is, uh, we just call it stew in my family. This is like my mother's recipe. But this is uh, some kind of good beef and uh white potatoes specifically white new potatoes i like the texture better than baking homemade gravy carrots onions there's some garlic in there this was probably full this is pounds and pounds this was probably after a leg day uh yeah some call it irish stew i know costco sells one 
that looks ish like this and they refer to it as Irish stew yeah brown gravy I don't know oh very tender yeah uh, peaches it's probably I don't know two or three peaches worth that could be President Trump okay uh, this is pasta with shrimp and tzatziki sauce uh, and it was really good. Oddly really good. I actually wanted pastina, if you don't know what that is, look it up. And they gave me these little mini tubes. I don't know what the fuck. Pastina would have tasted better. One of my other go-to pastas. But anyway, it was good. This is slightly out of focus. This is... So, Costco sells, if I'm not mistaken... Here, it's called, like, Foster Farm, or... It, no, it's not Foster. It's, like... What is the name of it? Barely coated or lightly coated. Um, oh, what is the name of it? I have the bag. I'm here at the shop, and it's in the, the kitchen freezer. But I'm not going to walk up. Anyway... Where their chicken nuggets are and their chicken patties and wings and shit, there's one particular one, which is this one, which is very lightly coated, and it's actual breast. It's not pieces, parts, or nugget paste, like, you know, kitty Dino nuggets or whatever. Uh, this is actual breast chunks with just the tiniest amount of coating, and this is better than any nugget tender you ever had at any chain place and you just bake them you can microwave them uh even in a toaster oven and they are the best there's no gristle there's no fat it's just always i've had i couldn't tell you how many bags or hundreds of pounds of these hundreds and many multiple hundreds of these these are the best if somebody actually cares and wants to try them just leave a comment and i'll put the name down or a link to costco or something but these are the best they cook super fast yeah um they're great plain my go-to is uh ketchup but they're good in ranch barbecue whatever you like and like i said plain i often for a protein boost if i get a soup that doesn't have enough protein i'll make some of these and throw it in or any other recipe i've put these on well whatever i've made burritos and use this as my protein and sandwiches so yeah it's um, and it's a good price love that chicken this is something from a get-together that somebody made I don't remember what country but there is cheese and bacon and uh, beans and spare ribs and it sounded weird but I eat weird shit <coughs> at the end of the day it tasted good and it was actually high nutrient I don't I don't remember the country of origin. Panko coated fried shrimp that the, my chef made. Uh, I probably had, yeah, that's not many, two to three plates along with some kind of carbohydrates, maybe a fruit or a sweet potato. Uh, someone just said, you don't eat any fruit. I do. Uh, I don't go crazy on fruit, but my go-to are usually pineapple, peaches, I like green apples. I mean, a lot of it's good. I just, yeah, but I'm a fan. This is more of that chicken that I love so much. I eat it often. This is, uh... A Mexican girl I know trades <laughs> barter system, brings me food from her family's restaurant for time with me. Uh, I remember this time. I had several bowls 
they call this at their restaurant like a chicken tortilla soup. It has, not knowing what they are, living in the Northeast usually, uh, Tex-Mex type spices. It's not hot. Uh, but whatever flavors Tex-Mex has, that's what's in there. I really don't know what it is. But there's rice, corn, tortillas, some beans. It's really hearty and thick. Uh, yeah, there's a ton of chicken, but it's uh, probably sunk to the bottom. Yeah, she brought me a, oh, quite a bunch. I had several meals of that, and it was really good. More of that chicken. Uh, I really got to find out the name. It is so good, and it's really a good price. It You make it so fast and easy, even, I don't actually own a deep fryer, although I guess an air fryer would work, but even a toaster oven, so you don't have to warm it up, it's like, I don't know, 20 minutes or something. You just throw them in, it doesn't stick to the aluminum foil, it's so easy. Uh, this, again, is a uh, homemade beef stew. Um, I probably, it was probably full. I ate and licked the bowl because I lick everything. Uh, there was more meat in there. At some point, I don't know if it was at this point yet. It's a long story. I won't get into it. But I wound up with, uh, what do you call that stuff? Kobe beef. A whole bunch of it and many hundreds of dollars worth and wound up using Kobe beef and some recipes people would have a heart attack like use Kobe beef for that yes I did and I this might be when I started using it there's corn and barley uh, new potatoes carrots onions mirquois of course look it up uh, some peas uh, the chef probably made four to five gallons of this, which I'll share with people. And then it'll go in the fridge and or the freezer. This is some kind of burrito. I'm going to say in that container is refried beans and cheese. That burrito... It's going to be loaded with some type of protein, uh, chicken and or beef. I don't think that was seafood. And maybe, you know, some tomatoes, sour cream, I don't remember. It was good, though. Chicken again. This was, so we had, uh, I had the Italian, somebody's birthday at, at the shop. I had it catered from our favorite Italian place. And there was a bunch of leftovers. And one of the things there were, probably the first thing that I opened were these raviolis with um, mozzarella on them. And I had some of that chicken. So I told you sometimes I'll maybe not have enough of a leftover or I need more protein so that's why I combined it those raviolis were good this is avocado um, kidney beans and it's probably laying on a base of chopped meat which you can't really see it's probably two or three avocados um, I do try to get my fiber 20 to 50 grams a day so obvious and potassium this was probably after a leg or a deadlift day yeah this is Mexican of some version again there's a protein on the bottom and then refried beans four kinds of cheese sour cream kind of like a burrito without the shell yeah uh, some kind of fish again it could be one of many that's uh, homemade mayo that's super thick I probably three three of those would not be enough I probably had six or nine and something else with it this is a KFC 
pot pie, which is something I recently started eating because one of the girls that hangs here a lot loves them, and I used to laugh until I put a fork in one and went, oh, that's good. That's upside down. Yeah, I just kind of turn it upside down and flatten it. That is not enough for me to eat, so I definitely had something else with it. I don't know. Could have been chicken. I don't go to KFC a ton, but that's what that is. Uh, the drink is black cherry juice in a two-liter, half-a-gallon glass I have that's for Vikings. It's not actually made of glass. It's uh, some kind of poly plastic. Uh, so that's what that is. This is, oh, maybe I got two pot pies. There's the container, which is uh, full of my special ice. Yes, yeah, so I had two pot pies, probably. This was some Greek thing. Olives and... I don't remember. Some kind of Greek thing with... Uh, I put cheese on it. There was a bunch of vegetables, some kind of sauce. It was okay. Somebody brought it in that's Greek here. Yo, Malaka, Skato Kefalo. Look it up. Uh, don't bring that shit in anymore. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't... I wouldn't look to eat it again. I like olives. I like the cheese. There was some spice or something I wasn't down with. This is... Uh, what's that place called? Arby's, who has the meats. This is their beef and cheddar on whack, or whatever they call it. And they had, like, buy two of those big sandwiches and get two little ones free sliders, chicken slider. And I found out, never knew this before, not that I go to Arby's much, they give you free cheese in a little cup if you ask for it. So I got some cheese. It's kind of like shitty Velveeta. This is not high level sauce by any means. <laughs> That's what that is. Uh, so next to the Arby's, which is a little bit of a trip, there's this donut place, the only one anywhere around here, called Krispy Kreme, which some people, we have Dunkin' Donuts everywhere, but Krispy Kreme is rare. People never shut the fuck up about Krispy Kreme. It's ten times better. It's so much better. They're more expensive. So I got a couple of all of their donuts, and I brought them into the break room or whatever here the main shop and I gotta tell you they weren't bad but they weren't great uh, and the one I really wanted which was a special Reese's peanut butter cup chocolatey fudge covered they didn't have but I tried all of them and they were eh, like the normal food place where I get my groceries has a little bakery built in it and their donuts are better uh, I actually have tried these twice now, and it's not that they're made badly, they're just nothing special. Yeah. I had a place in California when I was racing there, for the life of me, I can't remember the name of it. But their donuts were way better than Krispy Kreme. Yeah, I can't remember. But anyway, yeah. But I don't, I'm not really a donut or a pastry guy anyway. Cakes, pies, I don't eat a ton of that. So this, I mean, once a year, I might have donuts. This is uh, sausage and peppers. You can't really see the peppers from the Italian restaurant. Um, uh, somebody's birthday or something, I remember this. And I got a big tray, like, oh God, 10, 12 pounds of typical New York City style sausage and peppers and I probably had a couple of bowls uh, around this time <laughs> I was I was on this video game I play I'll probably copy this on my video game channel also one of them <coughs> uh, I had a hankering for some reason for like cheese crackers so I asked uh, what's called in team chat those of you that are not watching this that are gamers won't know what that means but i basically shouted to hundreds of people or whatever hey does anyone have a favorite cracker 
And people said those little dumb goldfish and... Actually, I have one here. Oh, Cheez-Its, of which I found the best flavor. I'll just tell you, it is four cheese and all the rest are... And Baby Swiss is okay. The rest are not very flavorable, flavorful, but... Cheez-Its, four cheese, Italian four cheese are fantastic. The rest of their stuff is eh. One guy said better cheddars. Anyway, I bought all of them. I went to three stores and I bought every cheddar cheese cracker or cheese cracker there was. All the brands, store brands, and I just tried them. And, you know, I like left them in the break room so everybody could eat them. And... This was one of them. Somebody went on and on. These are like Jesus himself makes these by hand. And they were eh. I don't know if I would ever get them again. They weren't bad. But they were not cheesy to me. Uh, I could talk about what I finally ended up with. Which was real cheese on crackers is way better. But those cheese it's for cheese the best. No, cheese nips are not the same as cheese its. They're very dis different. Cheese nips are terrible. Okay. So anyway, those sausage and peppers were amazing. So good. I had it quite a few times. Uh, shrimp and black cherry juice. I probably had a couple plates because I would never just eat so few. This out-of-focus picture is... Um, I'm going to call it Maryland-style crab cakes uh, with not a lot of breading. Boy, that is... I don't know why that didn't focus. Um, but delicious, probably in butter. I would have had probably two or three times that amount. What is this? This is... Wow, I've stumped myself. It's not chicken. I mean, it's not. It is chicken. But what else is in there? Noodles? That might have been some leftovers from a Chinese restaurant. One of the girls didn't eat. A, quite a few girls hang here. Exotic dancers. And there's always food. Uh, and maybe I put some chicken in it to boost the protein. I'm not sure. That's what I think that is. I think it might be wonton egg drop soup. And I put some chicken in it to boost the protein. This is definitely Chinese. This they make for me, which is essentially... It's going to sound goofy. They just call it the fast car special. But this is... Um, chicken with broccoli think of that so it's that chicken that's tenderized you know the kind that like melts in your mouth it's ultra tender and squishy without the broccoli sometimes i do eat it that way but this particular time i didn't i wanted something fast digesting after the gym so this is the chicken from chicken with broccoli with just a little bit of sauce it's not drowning in it they barely coat it and then they throw in some wontons for me and uh, rice. And y you really can't tell from this picture, but the whole bottom is chicken. This probably weighs three pounds, the way they make the Fast Car Special. And you can just go in and order it. And uh, it's really good. This is wonton egg drop soup that Ahen brought over for me. Part of the barter system, sex for food. Uh, this is wonton's egg drop. I probably, she brought enough for probably two of these half gallon bowls. And she puts fresh avocado in it for me also. And uh, I like this a lot. This is... Some type of Mexican-inspired dish. I remember this had that Tex-Mex type flavor. The meat is called... It's a sausage white people don't eat. What a weird... Anyone know that it's slightly spicy? Chorizo. Okay. You Latina? Shout out. 
Yeah, so this is chorizo, sausage, and beans, and uh, peppers. It wasn't super hot. I don't, I don't like hot corn. Some kind of like uh, Tex-Mex thing. It was good. I probably had two or three plates. This looks to be avocado, tuna, and uh, mayo out of focus again. Don't know why. This is chili with a little bit of, uh, somebody brought this in that works here. They made um, chili, meat, you know, beans, and put some pasta in it, and then cheese. It was called, this is what not a cheese I'm familiar with, like a, some type of Mexican cheese that I kind of would put between I don't really know anything super similar. A tasty cheese. I like cheese. I don't know. Not a strong flavor. Mozzarella-ish or a white. Just queso. Yeah, it's not just. Doesn't that just mean cheese though? I'm not sure what kind of cheese, but it was some kind of mix. Anyway, it was good. I had several plates of it. It was tasty. Uh, this is that same stuff again, so it would, I either, this is either another day or I had more than one plate. I normally don't snap two pictures in a row. Or it could have been a later meal, I really don't know. More of my favorite Costco chicken and ketchup. This was a scoop of ice cream. I don't like hard ice cream. I like it when it gets melty. This flavor is ridiculous. This is not cheap ice cream it wasn't haagen -Dazs, but this is high level shit i'm picky about ice cream and this has rivers of fudge fudge shingles peanut butter cups is that it yeah and vanilla bean that is to die for the combo oh my god oh so there's kind of I don't want to say liquidy because if it's frozen it's not but there's just kind of just some rando drizzle of fudge but there's also think of like a pringles but if it was made of fudge and kind of frozen and those shards are just in here so you may take a scoop of ice cream and get a piece of fudge that's like a pringles potato chip it's is so good this is uh some kind of i told you i got on a kick for tex-mex i don't know meat beans tomatoes i forget what she called it there's cheese in there avocado i'd like a chili i guess just a different way of making it and it was super good The Italians out here know what this is. This is Grandma's Italian Wedding Soup. And uh, it's little meatballs and pasta. The real version has spinach like this. Or what's that other green they eat, the Italians? Uh, is it endive? Carrots and celery and stuff. Kind of a light, tasty soup. Yes, I ate it on a plate because I scooped off a lot of the broth. Normally I like broth, but I just wanted the good stuff, so I had several plates of this. Uh, peaches. I ate a can of peaches. Again, chili. I told you, I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, out of the blue, the last quarter of the year, I ate so much chili and Tex-Mex type stuff. Again, again. Uh, raviolis with some meatballs, cheese, pineapple, my favorite chicken again, my favorite fish style again. This was, I got on a popcorn kick to find if there was any good store brought, bought, poppable cheese popcorn. And after you've had the best cheese popcorn in the world, those who've seen other food videos know I tested cheese puffs, cheese curls, whatever, Cheeto type things, over 50 brands, and popcorn from around the United States. And I found the best in each category, period. Nothing even close. Some that were not bad. Uh, 
the best cheese popcorn. All of their popcorns are good. <coughs> all of them. But they, this one particular place, they might be Chicago, is Gary Poppins. Gary, P-O-P-P-I-N-S. Yellow cheddar popcorn. This is not like the shit you get in the store. It's not super cheap. If you buy it, get a big tin. A gallon, two gallons, five gallons. You never had anything like this. These are just words, but this is, oh, I've had wise and I had smart food. No, this is all garbage for animals and rats. Gary Poppins. Oh, somebody from Chicago is shouting at two people, three people. Garrett's is not bad. Popcorn Olus is not bad. They're not bad. Gary, trust me, you get <laughs> Gary Poppins yellow cheddar popcorn. It'll change your life. Whatever they charge you for it, it's 100% worth it. I think when you first, I have no connection with them. Uh, when you first order, you get like a 15% off code or something. Try it, trust me, and message me. Anyway, I tried all of the store cheese popcorns. Reviewers all say the Jolly Time Big Cheese is the best, and it was eh. It's not even cheesy. It wasn't bad, it just wasn't anything like people said in the reviews. My favorite shape pasta, there's some kind of meat in there, it looks like slivers of sausage, uh, whole organic tomatoes, delicious. The, the sauce the chef, uh, excuse me, makes is really good. Same thing again, same thing again, same thing again. Must have made a huge, maybe we had a party or something and there was a shitload of it so I ate it several meals or maybe I just was lazy and just showed me whenever I ate this I don't know but it was really good peaches uh, probably two or three avocados as a bed and then chopped meat beans and cheese on top of it again Tex-Mex uh, fish and for some reason uh, I'm quite in tune with my body, doing bodybuilding for <laughs> well over half my life, three quarters, something like that, and powerlifting, and I know when my body is requiring something, and for some reason it wanted something in peanut butter, uh, and I supplement D, vitamin D, and E, and I take one of the best vitamins on planet Earth, multivitamin, and I don't know why, I just, and I don't regularly eat peanut butter or sandwiches or anything, but for some reason I want to, and I ate that whole jar, and let me tell you, that particular brand, I've had peanut butter my whole life, is really good. I got it because it was on sale or somebody got it, but it was, uh, I don't know, it just tastes better than other ones. This was a roast beef uh, sub. I often will get subs for customers or in the break room. Uh, or if there's a get-together or race or what, a lot of reasons. So there was, this was probably a six-foot or multiples, typical Italian roast beef type uh, sub. Uh, this Polish lady made me the kibasi and sauerkraut with bacon again. Yeah, but most people don't know that word. <laughs> yeah. So that's what that is. This was a filled to the top, probably with a meniscus. Look that word up. My favorite chicken again. Uh, Jolly Time popcorn. This was homemade pea soup with ham that the chef made that was to die for. This particular one was, I wanted a little chunky as opposed to more blended. Yeah, carrot, celery, normal type of pea soup. Oh, very soft. And I had a little of that kibasi left, um, so I threw it in the bowl. So that's why that's in there. And it worked well, didn't it fit perfectly? It was great. Tex Mex again. Lots of tomatoes in there. Probably had two to three plates. <clears throat> of 
crab cakes probably had two to three uh, plates of those pineapple Tex-Mex this is the most Tex-Mex I've had them I ate more in the last like three month period than in probably 20 years or something yeah uh, this was Chinese. Uh, and ran this over from her family restaurant. She'll come over like on her break or whatever, and I have to trade um, sex for food. So that's what that is. This is uh, the fast car special of the wontons, uh, heavy on the chicken, and then rice with just a little bit of gravy, like brown gravy. It's kind of like a thick it's not just soy and it's not hoisin hoisin it's thicker uh the way they make it i, I don't know what you would call it but more gelatinous slightly cre creamy i don't know if creamy is the right word delicious yeah there's scallions and there's a little bit of vegetables in there delicious uh, this is something else they make on the special fast car menu. There's actually a little menu secret thing. So this is wonton egg drop soup where they put a lot in and then they fry scallops. Uh, they'll cut them in half or thirds. They're big, like big, like a big ass white marshmallow. So they'll cut them in like thirds the long way and then they'll fry them sometimes usually i like them plain and they throw them in the soup this is so good i probably had two bowls of that yeah this is probably the second bowl but it's just a very high protein just good it just tastes fantastic but it's what you gotta do you know keep these bitches happy uh, this is probably the next day. So this is a more of a traditional chicken with broccoli that you would get at any ch Chinese restaurant. And then they give me wontons with no soup. She'll just take them out with like a, sh a strainer or whatever. I probably had uh, two plates of that. That's a big plate. But I, this particular place is wontons. They're a little different everywhere you go. These are absolutely my favorite of anywhere I've ever had them. This is a scoop of ice cream. When I told you about that vanilla ice cream with shingles, this thing is a piece of fudge about an eighth of an inch thick. Just <laughs> the way I scooped it out. Yeah, it's, I joke when people come over, I'm going to have a scoop of ice cream. I actually take a half gallon cut it in half and I have a half each time so like a quart yeah there's so if this was frozen this is like a side shot of the the Pringle I told you of fudge you could carefully like if you put the spoon in carefully in the right way especially if it's more of a flat spoon or if you happen to go at the right angle it's hard to explain um you can just pull these out with every like mouthful and there's also like blocks of fudge this ice oh my god is this good it's my mouth is kind of watering because it's oh god it's only nine i got up early like three in the morning it's only uh nine but i've been up quite a while and i'm hungry that ice cream was so good i want it now uh, again, this was Ahan brought this over. This would be a wonton soup, no egg drop. Um, and I asked her to put some broccoli in it. I probably had two bowls of that, maybe two gallons, something like that. It was really, it's all, it's so good. And this actually is special made for me. This is not just broth or water. This is actually homemade bone broth. For those that know who that is, I'm going to maybe talk about this a little more at the end. But this is not just regular stock. This is bone broth. So there's unbelievable nutrition and medical properties from bone broth. But that's what this is. 
This was around Christmas, and somebody had brought me um, probably one of the girls, and then, you know, they all share. It's the six or eight or ten of them ran over, and this whole box was gone in 30 seconds, 10 seconds. <laughs> I like these a lot. This is a little candy if you never had a Ferrero Rocher uh, with Nutella in it, and I hate it's if you've never tried this candy try this candy <coughs> it's not cheap this box in even in costco or bj's or sam's is probably eleven dollars for just these few uh so here's my favorite ice cream and shrimp this was maybe christmas day or right before or right after yeah i remember he made us a ton of shrimp like a hundred I just remember everybody eating shrimp. Yeah, we shared the ice. They all steal my food, the girls. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, that's what that is. Uh, yeah, I probably had two plates. Uh, these are the best pistachios you'll ever have, shelled. Uh, every trip to, to Costco, I get these. Uh, or macadamia nuts. Sometimes almonds. Those are my three go-to. Yeah, these are really good, fresh. Uh, this is Costco $5 pre-made rotisserie chicken. I had pulled the limbs off. I probably had two plates. Black cherry juice. Oh, uh, that may be pomegranate juice. Uh, I'm not sure. I can't tell from the color. One of those two. But I probably had a couple of plates of this with something else. This is Kirkland popcorn. For not having cheese on it, it's very high quality. It's a good deal. Uh, it's tasty. I won't get it again, not because it was bad, but I'm so spoiled by Gary Poppins. It's hard for me to eat anything else. But I did leave. I bought like a 36-pack. It's in the my break room that the kitchen in the main shop has triple or five times the food most families keep in their house there's three pantries giant multiple fridges and freezers of different shapes and sizes and there's all kind of, there must be i was gonna say 30 40 kinds of snacks doritos and various uh what do you call doritos with no seasoning that people like dip in salsa what do you call that just like a no that's not what you call that whatever but there's pretzels and candies and all that so uh i put them in there for uh people to eat uh the girls probably had come by and stolen a few but this i assure you this went very quickly uh this is some This is Costco chicken breast, and I've never had it with ketchup on it. It's so good for those of you that have had their rotisserie chicken. Uh, plain, it's amazing. I never really gravy it or anything. It's so damn delicious, but I thought I would try it, and it was quite good. I like this particular ketchup a lot. Uh, popcorn again. This looks to be Costco chicken with ketchup and, yeah, that's not a sweet potato. Oh, that was cheddar cheese garlic mash uh, that someone had squirted some ketchup on. It wasn't bad. I don't know if I would do it that way again, although you put ketchup on french fries. But, yeah, those were really good cheesy potatoes. Pineapple. So, here's my favorite ice cream. When I told you about the shingles, and you can't tell when it's configured like this, but this is what some of them... I mean, this is the size of... No, it's bigger than my palm. And I have... You know, it's 6'9". I have giant hands. This is the size of the inside of, like, a woman's D cup. <laughs> now, if you're careful with a spoon, especially mine is a little melty here, or getting melty... 
you could get this off in one piece with a spoon and have a slightly vanilla uh, bean fudge hunk that you would like kill a friend of yours to get <laughs> it's so goddamn good my mouth is watering this is I'm, I'm I've never thought about it but of every ice cream I've had in my entire life from a child till right now this could be my absolute favorite I'd have to put thought it's definitely number one or two it's so good okay that's what that is yeah that looks like a big piece and it is shrimp uh, these are frozen Reese's peanut butter cup trees so there is an outlet of Hershey products one of which is Reese's and I don't know if outlet's the right word. It's like a hub something. Anyway, I know a guy who works there. He's a customer. And I don't know the number, but he'll give me a bag of these. They're, they're in a wrapper. They're unwrapped. Um, you know, and he'll weigh it on the scale. And if you bought these trees in Walmart or Wegmans or wherever, Publix, wherever you might shop, yeah, shout out to them too, Kroger. Um, what would cost like $150 he gives me for like $22 or something. So there is all, there's, right now there's probably in one of the freezers uh, a two to three gallon bucket of these. And not frozen, there's probably a two or three gallon bucket for people to eat my employees and customers eat well yeah so these are I prefer them that's not true sometimes I like them frozen well yes I did an experiment with this on a video I could talk about this for an hour I won't but I will give you one minute as you asked I this is in my top two or three favorite candies ever Reese's products like I'll generically say a peanut butter cup and I noticed one day, years ago, quite a few years ago, hey, why do some peanut butter cups taste better than other ones? They're, you know, manufactured to strict tolerances. Some just taste better. Years go by, couldn't figure out why, but I always noticed it. When then it hit me, different shape for example, these are holiday. They have footballs. They have uh, Easter will be, you know, coming up. And they have egg shape. They have Christmas trees and Santa Claus shape. Um, different shapes and sizes have different ratios of chocolate and peanut butter. And I'm going to tell you what I mean. I'll keep this under a minute. As you get smaller in general, in size, in weight... You get more chocolate and less peanut butter. So if you're a person that likes the chocolatey more and the peanut butter less, you want smaller, something like mini cups, right? And they're going to be more chocolatey. As you get bigger, you get more peanut butter and less chocolate. Now, I know they also have a specialty chocolate lovers and peanut butter lovers. That's all another story. But in general, as you get bigger until you get stupidly big they have some the size of this plate that are heart shaped and those i'm not a fan of but as you get bigger they get more peanut butter and less chocolate and then there's one more thing holiday shapes for example trees santa claus yep the easter eggs the the footballs they have the least chocolate of all of them and the most peanut butter so if you've eaten a peanut butter cup, you notice that the edge, the bottom, the top, this is a very, there's no thick crust of chocolate. In fact, what I would do with normal round peanut butter cups is I would nibble, 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 nibble around the whole outside of all of them uh, and get the chocolate 
crust out of the way. It's still delicious. And then I would eat the middles later. These are by far the most peanut butter. They sell them at uh, BJ's Wholesale, sometimes at Sam's Club. I don't know, maybe in stores at, on holidays. I don't know, but I, I get them from my buddy. Anyway, uh, how do I know? Well, I took on a video a medical scale that's very accurate, about a $600 like kitchen scale, essentially. And I got some medical tools for surgery and I dissected all of the peanut butter cup products you could buy. And I weighed the... <laughs> You don't know me because everything I test, I do like this. Whether it's a water bottle, a flashlight, a knife. I, I have a review channel with thousands of wacky scientific stuff I do. But anyway, I weighed, the, I scooped it all out and put it on this scale and saw how much of the weight, you know, so I weighed it first. And then when I separated it all, I found out how much peanut butter, how much chocolate, and believe me, it was scraped with high precision. And then I made, <laughs> yeah, I made a, a chart. Oh yeah, on, I sure did. Yep, I have a spreadsheet somewhere. I haven't looked at it in many years. And found out the ratios. And that's how I can give you this info. That was way too long about one picture. Fried shrimps or as a guy that works here calls it, scrimps. Uh, this is my favorite chicken again. This is chili again with some cheese. Um, someone's, someone did ask, why isn't it melted? Uh, it's not frozen, I assure you. Sometimes on dishes and burgers and hot dogs and various foods, I like cheese I don't ever like cheese totally melty where it's like a liquid where it would drip through a strainer. Like if you make a hamburger on your grill and you throw a slice of American cheese, maybe you cover it with a lid or let it sit and it gets ultra melty. I'm not the hugest fan of that. I'll eat it if I have to. I like the texture of cheese, most cheeses, cheddar especially. And sometimes I like it right on the verge of melting. Now, I would mix this. I, I didn't eat it like this. And it would get gooey. Kind of like right on the border of melting. So that's why it looks like that. Now, I know because this is piping hot that when I mix it, it's going to get even softer and right on the verge of melty. Uh, this is different cheese chili again so I had tested years ago uh, I told you 50 kinds of cheese puffs the puffy kind cheese doodles I don't know different parts of the country call it some cheese curls but the puffy ones and I found out it was the best and I was like you know I never did the crunchy ones so I tried I don't know if it was 50, but all kinds of crunchy ones, and I just don't like them as much. Not that the curls are super amazing, except for the brand that wound up winning my test. Uh, but Cheetos are pretty solid. I remember doing the test. This probably was a... No, actually it wasn't. Anyway, that's why I had those. They're okay. This is um, stew again with Wagyu beef for sure. The, um, the Kobe beef. And there's barley, carrots, onions, peas, corn. This is kind of like a, again, Irish stew. But this is definitely with the Kobe beef. This is um, KFC pot pie with french fries. And I definitely had something else. I don't think it was two pot pies this time. Some chicken or sandwich, something. I don't know. So, because I need to get a certain amount of calories, about 10,000 in my case, and because butter is so good for you, 
Fast Car eats many foods and many snacks with his tongue. I don't touch it. It's not a sanitary thing. It's because when you, let's say this was cheese, I could go back to the, <laughs> here, let me go back and show you something. So I would, I've always, since I was a child, eaten chips, popcorn, Doritos, anything like that with my tongue. Why? Because when you touch it, you get orange shit, in this case, all over your fingers. But that orange shit is the oils, infused oils, and the salt, and the cheesy, which is not really cheese, flavor. And then what you're eating is less flavorful. So I pour it on a special plate where most things don't stick to. And then I just, like a lizard, I have a very big, long tongue. I'll just stick my tongue on this and grab three, four, five, six, and then bring it in my mouth like an anteater. So, why did I tell you that? Normally, I, I have not touched popcorn to eat it in... I, I couldn't give you a year. I'm, I was going to say ever. I'm sure maybe I popped a piece or two at some point. But I always eat popcorn with my tongue. Unless... I would dip every piece into this butter. This is soft. So I'll take a piece, dip it in the butter, and then I'll touch another one. And I'll have two pieces with butter in the middle until the whole stick is gone. But from doing this, I know how these, these bags hold more than normal store brands. I know how much butter I can put on each so that... The very last two is when the butter ends. This is something I know. As a pro drag racer, counting and numbers and certain things, uh, you have a high level of. This is... I don't know why this is here. This is chocolate chip cookies and what looks to be cheese out of focus. Maybe something was getting dipped in there. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe the girls were doing something. I really don't know. This is uh, my new cooker, Fire Maple. Shout out to East at Fire Maple. Love, love, love this cooker. This thing is amazing. By the way, these are available now on Amazon. I believe it's called the Fire Maple Polaris is the name they gave it. Love this thing. This is the, um, yeah, this is the Kobe beef stew for sure. And there was a lot of meat in here. Oh, I had a couple of plates of this. It was, oh God, so good. He probably made three to five gallons. And it wasn't just juice. It was all like this. Yeah, just, oh God, the taste. That, that meat so good we're near the end here this was either finishing the bag or later I don't know why these are here again but I eat these all with my tongue so very typically I will just I hold the plate up and probably in this case this would go I guess I'll call it the back of my tongue and I would get about this many probably this one would get caught maybe that one these so all of this it would just touch my tongue and then I would eat it <laughs> so I get maximum flavor this looks like a couple of things it's definitely some of my chicken maybe there's also fish I don't remember yeah, here's another plate. I don't, I don't remember exactly. Uh, you know, the, there's a big, uh, like I have a, it's it's in the shop, but I have a theater, like a home theater, in a room where customers can wait and they can eat food and shit. And the girls, you know, they all like different stuff. So maybe one of them made something or two of them. This could be fish. And this could be a tater tot or a potato mixed whatever but it was there so I ate it this is a Costco chicken bake not 
the ones you buy frozen, which are not the same. I know that because I called them and I got corporate. They're absolutely different. This looks not as big as it was. This was big. If you never had a Costco chicken bake, oh, they're so good. This is multiple cheeses, some ranch, bacon, rotisserie chicken on a cheesy, it's almost like a cross between a croissant and a brioche. Yeah, this is cheese. Oh, so good. Normally, I'm not into bready things, but this is not super thick. This is barely thicker bread than like a a burrito show. What, what do you call that anyway? That shows my lack of... Oh, just tortilla. Yeah, this is only about as thick as a tortilla. Okay. This is... Oh, my God. So this Polish lady... That brings me food in exchange for sex. She made me galumki stuffed cabbage homemade. I had two of these plates. I remember this particular day. This is the most tender, meatiest. The so this is a ten. Oh God, is this made perfectly? And she knows I like spirals, so she made me some mac and cheese. Uh, to go with it and again I wanted the texture and it, this gets softer when I mixed it this was oh she brought a, a a pot over pot bowl some kind of serving thing I'm gonna say it was a gallon and a half of these and a pot of this oh god it was so good so good uh, so I keep I told you in the pantry for the customers and the workers when the girls hang out uh, I keep all kinds of snacks and candies and cookies and I keep high-end uh, candy Giardelli and Gucci and all kinds of stuff I bet right now there's yeah peanut butter cups I bet there's a thousand dollars of mixed can just candy alone in there Oh, this is so good. This is actually, this comes in like five flavors. There's a plain, this one, this one, and then like a 60% cacao dark. I forget what the last one is, but I know the color of the wrapper. They're so good. This is that stew again with the, yeah, with the Kobe beef, dude. Oh my God, it was crazy good. Shout out to Fire Mode. But hey, if you ever see this East, shout out. Great product. This is again because she left two pots of each. I probably only showed it twice, but I ate it for several days. It was, oh God, so good. I want it right now. I want to stuff it in my face. Fried scrimps. Uh, so at Costco... I never heard of these before. This is something I wouldn't eat. They have these muffins, not the not the homemade ones that they sell. These are little, like golf balls or smaller. They're called like little bites or mini muffins or something. And the girls, a couple of the girls went to Costco with me and these were like on sale at an end cap. It was a big box of maybe like 80 or 100 of these is normally don't quote me on this $12 and it was like 8 bucks so they're like oh they're on sale and they threw it in the cart and they ate it. I tried them I liked them with butter not really my thing they're not bad they're fresh and soft uh, just not really my thing uh, Ahen brought this over this was a fast car special wontons um what I talked about earlier. Yeah, this time I had her make it with pork fried rice, which I rather like. There's probably one avocado in there. This this was full with a meniscus. Look that up, kids. So good. I'm so hungry. Ate it with my tongue. Uh, this was it again. This, These two Asian sisters, they... They come over frequently. They're regulars in my rotation of women. 
but it works out good because they like me and I like food at their restaurant and they bring it here so it works out great uh, yeah Uh, a couple of times, yeah, but that's a different kind of video. <laughs> so anyway, this was fantastic. Uh, they Often they will come over two, three, four, five days. They want to, like, just always be here. But this is it again. This is wontons with the rice and the soft chicken. Actually, two different kinds of wontons. So there was this yellowy one here. And then this one, which is uh, a slightly, it's a little more oniony, and uh, yeah, this is more like a like a dumpling, like a steamed dumpling. Yeah, but it's meaty and stuff. But anyway, that's yeah. There's ginger. I don't know. It's delicious. They know what to bring over. They know what Daddy likes. This is so I got on it. A kick for Tex-Mex and chili of which I tried every can chili also that I could find for about 50 miles all of them DAO for those of you that are watching this that on my boosted laser gaming channel I have a guildie named Steve should you happen to see this Steve shout out uh, that I told uh, I was talking about Wendy's chili and then he said oh my wife makes it we have this good one in a can here in Texas called Wolf and no store had it and not long ago only today is what today is January maybe is it the 18th I think it's yeah January 18th only no, probably about a month ago something like that or less than a month. Um, Steve ranted about how good it was, but it's very different than the chili I'm used to. I couldn't find it. And I don't remember why. I went into this dollar store looking for a... something very specific. Oh, I was putting a bug out bag together for Christmas for employees and I needed this goofy plastic case that, that I thought a dollar store might have to hold something. Turns out they did. Anyway, while I'm walking out, there's an end cap. Uh, we now have wolf chili and I was like, are you kidding me? You, I can't find this shit anywhere and it's at this dollar store so I bought a case of it. And this chili has no beans it's much less runny despite what it looks like in this picture and this is wolf chili there's actually instead of beans oatmeal which may sound weird to you that never made a meatloaf with oatmeal but i assure you wolf fucking chili without beans is amazing this is texas style it's almost like a paste it's not big chunks of meat or in shit and veggies it's grand, thin ve uh, not thin it's uh, very small particles like a paste is the only way i could describe it like pate and uh so that's what this is wolf chili and uh might actually have it today although i want about eight other things and this is cheddar cheese you can see it's in this mostly melted state but not super runny yeah, wolf chili's good. It's legit high protein, good fiber, good nutrient. It's just good. This is a solid meal for somebody that doesn't cook. Chunky chili is my other go-to. Campbell's Chunky. Uh, this is homemade pea soup with... Um, probably made a couple gallons. We have a place here, I don't know if this is countrywide, called uh, Honey Baked Ham. It's one of these chain uh what do they call it spiral ham places and uh wound up with one of these which got used and eaten for all kinds some event i had here and near the bone there was some meat so uh threw some of that ham in here and that pea soup was really good 
out of focus shrimp. Don't know why it's not fo Oh, I actually do know why. Again, chili. This is uh, some homemade shit with the noodles. Again, this guy brings in a lot. This is um, more of that stuffed cabbage that lady made. This was in this half a gallon bowl I ate out of. Uh, so I had eaten the cabbage first, most of it, and just left the meat for last. And this was probably up to half with just meat. Um, so that's what this... Oh, God, it's so good. I don't... I've had stuffed cabbage so many times. I don't know what she does different, but this is to die for. This shit's a 10. Yeah. Uh, was at Costco, and there was some... One of the girls' birthdays or something. So I just got some, you know, Doritos and various dippy chips and... Well, yeah, whatever they had. Potato chips, all those kind of things. I probably got a couple bags of these. And this was probably mostly empty after, so I ate some. Yeah. I have that for customers, too, in the pantry. This is, um, yeah, more stuffed cabbage. It's, oh, my God. It was so good. Uh, more pea soup. Oh, I treated myself. This is a, again, it's a whole story, but I'm not going to tell you. I get specially made Mountain Dew because I know someone there. There is Pepsi sponsors me. Actually, Mountain Dew does, but it's just whatever. Anyway, they make a special blend for me. And without, this came out of my, I have a Slurpee machine or an Icy machine, depending where you live. Which is why you see this, what looks gelatinous. This is out of the Slurpee machine. And I put it on ice because I'm gangster. Uh, they make a special Mountain Dew for me that I could only tell you is so good. Anyone that likes Mountain Dew would be hooked on this. You would quit all other liquids and you would drink nothing but this all day until it killed you. And it probably would. I don't have this often, but it's so good. I probably had several glasses. I know I did. Probably four or five, because the ice displaces a lot of room, even though this is 48 ounces. Uh, pea soup again with uh, extra ham. We're getting near the end. Yeah, this, this is so good. This is my other drinking container. This is a no, this is a 64 ounce. I did a review on bottles that you can see on my channel. I tested over 50. And this is the exact bottle that won all of my testing. Well, there was another reason I picked this one. But anyway, that's what that is. Peaches. This is... Little Sausages... This is uh, a chicken chili with whole, ch not whole, but big chunks of tomato, uh, rotisserie chicken, two types of beans, and also sausage. There's probably like a, a three to five gallon pot or equivalent of this frozen in these little Tupperwares in the various uh, freezers. This, again, is that unbelievable stuff, cabbage to die for, black cherry juice. Um, short answer, it tastes good. It's hard to find black cherry. And cherry, tart cherry and black cherry has some medical benefits and some ben benefits for people that work out. I could talk about that in another video sometime. Fried scrimps pineapple some kind of Tex-Mex chili type product again Tex-Mex chili type product again chili Tex-Mex probably four cheeses on there again Tex-Mex chili again when I I don't know what happened 
all of a sudden I just fell in love with fucking chili don't know why it's toned down a little bit now but I looking at this because I'm very hungry now wow this video is long my favorite ice cream again so as this was recent I can just tell you see this lip here I remember taking the spoon and doing my little shimmy 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 down here and this went all the way to the bottom it came off in one sheet of fudge and then I scooped this and this vanilla came off it just peeled right off and I was left with a big fudge thing this ice cream oh my god I would share it with some of the nice people that watched us <laughs> she she just said could I lick it off you I'd love to eat yes you could what is your name the real Vanessa Hodge uh, yes you could mm hmm do I know who you are no I have no idea who you are real Vanessa Hodge uh, we could okay she said briefly you want me to read this or no my dad is half of the world famous Hodge twins I don't know what that is what what are they famous for are they on TV or something YouTube famous you famous like nine people know or famous like millions oh and and what do the Hodge twins do uh, send me a just give me a link and I'll definitely check them out shout out to the Hodge twins the family I do like mulatto girls but I like pretty but I do especially like mulatto girls thank you very much I appreciate you saying that <laughs> uh, where do you live this is not this this video we'll talk later I'm gonna send you a link to my discord cuz I have to see you on a live cam before I say anything to make sure you're not some dude named Frank or in a fuzzy costume oh furry <laughs> check out Vin yeah okay Ms. Hodge all right, uh, where was I? Delicious ice cream. Uh, here's the back of the ice cream. Here's a little peanut butter cup. Bad ratio, but still tasty. And you can see just how much fudge is in this thing. It's great. Oh my God, I want it. I think I have one serving, actually. Chili again with four cheese. Popcorn with tongue. Uh, oh, one of my other go-to's but usually only this exact one Costco has Costco brand Kirkland organic blueberries they are first of all they're very safe normally blueberries are very dirty I won't get into it but these are the plumpest juiciest sweetest they taste like they pour sugar on them I don't these are two to four times sweeter than any blueberry I've ever had and juicier don't know why batch after batch it's just Kirkland organic blueberries <coughs> it comes in a couple pound bag in the frozen area and they're to die for somebody said I always sugar or honey my blueberries you do not need it with these they're, they're like like candy level or like Kool-Aid level of sweetness <laughs> or I say depending where you live uh, these are the best blueberries on planet earth you will find that typical at Costco that any other store brand the Kirkland is is the highest quality and it's probably gonna end on that also but uh, I do eat these off in a bowl full I'll have oh sometimes as much as a pound I really 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 like those this is rotisserie chicken chili with just garbanzo beans 
and chunks of tomato and some cheese. This is delicious. This is uh, here often, uh, almost always for people to eat. This was something that I tried. There's avocado on the bottom, uh, beef, like ground beef, and then there's refried beans. And then there's <laughs> something I got the idea from the chef made from a show, If I don't know if it's still around, called Epic Meal Time, a bacon weave. If you don't know what a bacon weave is, uh, there's a bacon weave in there and then cheese on top, which you can actually see is starting to melt. This actually will get like this over the next minute all the way down. Uh, so that's bacon in there, and it was so good. Uh, blueberries, and again, this uh, chicken chili. I see there's another plate under here. So I had something I really don't remember before this. And this, again, this is, you know, usually after workout meals. Chili again. <laughs> Somebody's laughing like, dude, why? So I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, my body wanted Tex Mex and chili flavors for whatever reason. Popcorn with butter. Again, the bag is somewhere over here on the side. And this is where I would dip and then touch another one until all the butter was gone. Uh, some kind of fish don't know again it could be cod fluke flounder it's usually one of those like most tilapia sometimes but it's always like a not fishy not oily flaky fish yeah huh. i am a little baffled what this is Oh, this, there was something on TV. This is a dip. You can't see it from this angle. Like a guacamole or a seven layer dip. It's just the whole top is cheese and there's sour cream. And they were dipping. Uh, so there's this type of tortilla chip or toast. Uh, some type of chip but not triangular like a Dorito for some reason I'm thinking they were called like scoops so the chip instead of being a triangle or a weird square they looked like a, an empty pie shell in other words it had a wall and you could really scoop and hold shit in it it wasn't called scoops but that was the shape. It looked like an empty pie. Little bowls. I don't know. But anyway, that's what that was. This is my world famous, for those that are true fans. I had to throw one in. Cheesy. Seafood soup stoop. That has shrimp, scallops lobster crab uh two different types of cheeses potatoes people that know you you know shout out to anyone that's watched this long and knows about my world famous uh cheesy seafood chowder stoops that's what that is it's ultra thick that bowl right there is probably <laughs> 36 dollars uh, seafood and he made three to five gallons. I don't know, somewhere in there of that. Uh, this is some fish. Again, I don't know what type. That's probably it on a plate. Uh, so this is, again, the, the cheesy stoop chowder. This is probably near the end where there was slightly less good stuff and more liquid, which is probably like the last. It's still loaded, though, believe me. And this went all the way to the top. You could see the remnants. I even had a lick up here because it was overflowing. Again, it had a meniscus. Look it up. So I had a half gallon of that and then this fish for a meal. 
Oh, actually, I put it in the soup for even more, just to suck up that gravy, you know, the soup base, which is to die for. Yeah, it's like a lobster bisque base, basically. Yeah, and then it coats, oh, so good, so good. People wonder, just how thick is your soup? I've had thick soups. This is a heavy stainless spoon. This might be the silver one. Standing straight up, and this is heavy. This would normally just flop right over, but it will just, that's how thick my soups are. This bowl, yeah, this is a, you know, if you got this at a restaurant, I don't know, this is $150. I'm just saying my cost was probably, yeah, ultra, th oh, it's so good. This is a 10. Yes, Ms. Hodge, you could eat that off me too. <laughs> I see you typing away. I will get to you. This is very close to over, I think. So just to see, like, what it looks like on the inside. I don't know if that's another bowl. Maybe I ate a full gallon or it's the same one half done. I can't tell. So this is those little mini muffins. I had some blueberries. And uh, I kind of wound up maybe quartering these. And then I would take a quarter of mini muffin and blueberries. It was good. This is a chili again. This is a pizza from Costco that I stocked up on. It's called a deep dish double pepperoni Chicago style or Detroit style. Something like that. And it I'm not going to get it again. It wasn't bad. I'm just not a pepperoni freak. Uh, other people love it. It just wasn't really my thing. Somebody really enjoyed it here. I don't remember. There it is. Another pick. Yeah. Yeah, that was mine. And then, I don't know, a couple of the girls probably ate that. Or shared it. They don't, most of them don't eat much, but one who's really small but can eat like you can't believe. Yeah. This was a very large bowl of mixed fruit. I remember talking about this the day I was eating it, and I can tell you that it had some effect on me the next day. That's all I'm going to tell you. Here's my favorite ice cream again. I, It's so good. I remember individual bowls. And I can tell you that this was an entire sheet. A shingle of the fudge that I popped out. And up here, I kind of scraped this away. And from like here, down here, this was... Oh, it's so good. You see this piece here? So under this one, then there's some ice cream. There was a sheet this big, like the size of an index card of this. Oh, God, it's so good. This is scrambled eggs. Um, those that watch my food channel or my vlogs or whatever, when I live stream, I eat... Um, it's a little less now that I don't compete as much and with Corona and getting older, but I eat at least 90 eggs a week and as many as 120. I don't think I've done that in a while, but at, at least 90. So this, this is a very likely a breakfast and I would have, um, in this particular day, this is probably five eggs, two avocados with not Newman's. Uh, why is it escaping me? There is one dressing brand that is far better. Ken's, K-E-N-S. It makes the best dressings, period, at any price. This is Ken's honey mustard that somebody here likes, uh, so I use that. And I had uh, some of that Kobe beef and a sweet potato. I remember eating that. <laughs> so, my local, near my main house, uh, 
shopping place like Publix, Kroger, or whatever you have where you live, Wegmans, they have like a prepared hot food. I'm going to say like buffet, you pay by the pound or whatever, and they have a whole host of real foods. And that's good stuff. It's really high-level food. Uh, for some reason, <laughs> I'm, somebody will call me racist, so I'm not going to say what I was going to say. But somebody I was with said, oh, shit, motherfucker, they got Mac ribs in this bitch. I'm like, that's the lowest quality, like, pressed. That is like a Mac rib. I can't believe they serve it here with all of these, like, high-level, pre-made, warm foods. Good, rest, good restaurant quality. And here they have these frickin' Mac ribs. He's like, trust me, I've had these here before to die for. I'm like, this is basically dog food and chemicals. He's like, no, it looks weird, but it tastes good. So we got, I don't know, a couple pounds of it and brought it back. And oddly, it tasted good. I liked it, I'm not usually a big bread person, but I actually liked it better on a, like a potato type roll with cheddar cheese on it, and I mean, I would never willingly get it, but it wasn't bad, so that's why I had those, tried them plain, and I had maybe rice or, I don't remember, potatoes with it. This is chicken alfredo with some type of very small pasta that my chef made properly and this is real rich thick cheesy buttery alfredo garlicky to die for you can't even see the chicken but i assure you that it's in there so good so good this is the Wagyu uh, Kobe beef, whatever it's called, uh, stew again. I think that's what that was. Yeah. This is, uh, I don't know, one of the girls made macaroni and cheese and like, but homemade type with some extra cheese on it. I, I would never eat just a pasta dish. So I had something else with this chicken, fish, something. So, I could do a three-hour video on this. I won't. I'm going to tell you something to everyone here. If you don't drink this shit, in general, bone broth. I'm not talking about stock. Bone broth. You should. You should make it yourself. Yeah, that did whistle. You should make it yourself. Or you should buy it. Making it yourself is kind of a long pain in the ass process. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it even works out cheaper. You probably get a slightly unusually higher quality product. But this shit ranges, depending on the brand, the stores you have, uh, between about two fifty and twelve dollars a thirty-two ounce box, a quart or a liter. Many of them hovering around $5. So, here's what I'm going to tell you about this and not make this too long. This has profound medical benefits, healing. And this is not some hippie shit. This is documented, proven. Just look at benefits and it's not bullshit of bone broth. The good stuff. Now... If you get the stuff that's 250 to about 350 a box in your store, for example, Swanson or kind of the big name brands that make stock you've heard of, they're always clear. By the way, this does not look like this. Those for 250 to 350 are clear. They have very little taste. They may or not may or may not be salted this one is not salted but you just salt it yourself I can, I'll tell you to do it um, I don't think they have much flavor at all it tastes basically like stock and not even great stock if you spend four to five dollars a container you definitely get what you pay for and there is more flavor in nutrition 
but that is expensive for some people. Although you can and should replace a meal a day with this stuff if you can get down 32 ounces. I have no problem, but I'm a big dude. You can drink it cold, as in refrigerated. You could drink it warmed or even hot and steaming. Or room temperature. I prefer it greatly at room temperature. Any you do not drink after you open it, you refrigerate, but this is not a problem for me because I drink a whole carton at once. It's not bad refrigerated. It's a little thicker. I don't mind the thickness, but I just find I can taste it more at room temperature, and I enjoy the taste. Maybe you don't care. This will vary by person. Um, so there is profound healing. In fact, I had Corona for a while and it was bad nearly killed me and something else was it a coincidence what I'm about to tell you don't know on the 11th day of slightly graphic here non-stop diarrhea 100 episodes and vomiting 20 times on the 11th day I had this and I lost about 30 pounds of water weight <laughs> Keep in mind, I'm 6'9", 340, so you probably wouldn't lose that much, half that. Um, I was feeling probably the worst I've ever felt. I drank one gallon of this, and literally, the next morning, I felt 25-30% better. I had a gallon the next day, and this was only a couple of days ago. I felt 50% better. I had another gallon which is four of these. No other food, no other liquids. My weight started coming back. I didn't pee once. And with no medication, the corona, and I had something else at the same time. It was bad luck. Um, by the third day, it was about 75% gone. If I'm not mistaken, is this day four or five? I've been sleeping erratically, but it's about 95% gone, and I feel almost my normal self. Anyway, look into the benefits of bone broth. Here's what I will tell you. I contacted corporate about this and said, I know Kirkland, at the moment anyway, does not make their own bone broth even though those rotisserie chickens you eat and other chickens from them they own their own chickens now they're chickenery i don't know chicken farm uh so they could because they got the stuff they make all those rotisserie chickens they start to finish everything they raise them but i know for a fact because i contacted corporate and they said look you're you're nobody we're not going to tell you our secret but we can tell you that a major small batch manufacturer makes this for us <clears throat> to our specifications. And I said, you can't give me a hint. And they said, no, but it's not one of the mainstream brands. And I said, could you tell me what it costs? Well, it depends on the part of the country you're in, David. And the store, different stores have different prices. But it's in around the 9 to $12 um <clears throat> a container range and i said wait you charge like 250 you're telling me if i got this in the store with someone else's name it's nine to twelve dollars and it's 250 you can and should replace one meal with this um every day for everyone i can tell you your hair will grow better and stronger and thicker and nicer your nails and your skin, ladies, will be grow way better. Your skin will be smoother. You will get better looking. This is amazing, amazing stuff. This is a nutritional powerhouse. And by the way, uh, if those of you that like the Mandalorian, Baby Yoda, one of his first meals, if not the very first, does anybody know what he ate when he went into the bar with his Mandalorian homeboy? What did he order? Bone broth for the baby. If it's good enough for baby Yoda, it's good enough for you. But seriously, 
this exact brand there's other ones that are okay but the costco one is by far the best deal you should buy cases of this um you should anything that you use stock for if you make a soup any kind of recipe where you use stock use this instead this is very high protein and something very special called collagen yes it's I could go on and on. I'm not going to. But look into bone broth, especially Dr. Jason Fung. Uh, but just Google it. This is every single person, if you like the taste. I happen to absolutely love it. Oh, one little thing. Some of these products come salted. Some do not. Now, someone who's probably not watching this that I'll call Braddy Carr, she got some and didn't salt it and said it was yucky. Uh, so I will tell you the magic number of salts you need to put in here. There's a little cap on the top. You unscrew the cap and now everybody's uh, tolerance to salt is different and the amount of salt people like varies. There's, but I can tell you from a bunch of us that all drink this, the magic number is between a quarter of a teaspoon measured and a third, just depending how salty you like stuff. I use sea salt, I open the cap, I take a third of a teaspoon, I have like a long skinny one, because this has kind of a small little opening. I dump it in, close the lid, shake it. I fill this glass t uh, two and a half times. So I fill it to the very top, drink it, I shake it again, fill it to the top, shake it again. Then it makes a half, but then what I do is there's still some goodness stuck uh, inside and little dribbles on the bottom. So I get water and I just put a half, maybe one ounce. I mean, it you know, it probably just fills to here. Put the lid on, shake, 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 and it brings out <laughs> more good stuff noticeably. I've had it by itself. It doesn't taste watery, so it's definitely doing what it is and then I pour it in and have my two and a half glasses in fact I'm actually gonna have one of these as soon as I'm done with this video this literally is almost over anyway if you have any questions or want to chat about anything here anything you like or you're interested in feel free to comment or in my discord uh, I have three discords yeah okay bone broth folks buy this one this is, uh, was this yesterday or two days ago? This is the chicken from Chicken with Broccoli. And instead of broccoli, she said, hey, we got these great, giant, fresh, organic white button mushrooms. Would you like just, uh, a, you know, a couple of quarts of just chicken? And a little bit of this gravy with these mushrooms. And it was really good. So that's what that was. Yeah, that was yesterday, in fact. Uh, she also brought me a wonton egg drop soup. And they call this, if I'm not mistaken, I never really had this, uh, boneless spare rib tips. I expected it to be chewy. I don't know why and raw. It's not like baby back ribs where it just falls apart, but it's very tender. I expected this, I thought this was like an orange glaze or something, like from orange chicken, which turned me off. But it is not. I don't know what the fuck this is. Oh, maybe. Somebody said teriyaki. I've normally seen teriyaki brown. Uh, yeah, it wasn't sweet. And it wasn't overpowering. It was just like a nice amount of sauce. But she brought me like a quart. So uh, that's what this was. And we might be done now. Oh no, there's one more. So this is uh, the wonton egg drop soup. And here's the wontons. And it also had some of the soft chicken and some of the mushrooms. She said, hey, we might like sell this or put it on the fast car menu so that's what that was this was full this was pounds of soup and we are done folks i didn't know this would be two hours of video if you made it to the end let me know fast car i made it to the end
In fact, if somebody, I'm going to put this on one of my gaming channels. If somebody in the game sees this, you leave a comment. Fast car, I watched the whole vid. And I'm going to send you a special gift in the game. In fact, if there's two people that, that make it from the game. I'll do, I know this will get tens of thousands on my food channel, but... <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to end it here. And uh, I'm not planning... I actually said I was never going to do another food video, but... With the caveat, because Corona's over, I, you know, regular, I don't know, Corona version 1.0 was ending. And I said, well, we'll never have Corona again. And I said, the only way I'm making another food vid, people were asking, if Corona comes back or some new version. And guess what? We got, I don't know, three, four new ones now. Uh, so there you go. I will do one question. Yes, Miss Hodge. I'm going to Ms. Hodge. I'm going to give you my Discord information. Is that picture really you? You're a very, very good looking person. Wow. I have to see you on live cam. Okay, any uh, question here? It is. This is uh, bone broth, not just stock or water or whatever. Yeah. Okay, one more. The name of the ice cream. You know, <laughs> as I don't buy it, somebody, you know, I don't do the shopping usually. Uh, I can't tell you the actual name of it or the brand. If I find out, <laughs> I'll leave it in the comments or if I remember... secret to good alfredo sauce um shitty alfredo sauce if you go to your wherever you food shop regularly weekly or whatever there's going to be three to ten brands of authentic alfredo sauce from brands you've heard of and probably some you haven't none of those are good none i've ever had and i've tried so many most restaurants that make cream sauce, which is not Alfredo, or Alfredo, take milk, a little cheese, they whip it together for two seconds with a whisk and say that's Alfredo. It is not. So you want to Google, uh, and I know the last time I did it, there's a chef in a kitchen making Alfredo correctly. And it's generally, good. It's, it has to have heavy cream, and it has to have a good amount of quality Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. It'll taste better with a higher quality one. And it's got to have good butter at room temperature when you make it. And it's got to be whisked. In, this is the infusion that holds it all together. But now there's a secret. It's still going to be a little bit runny. So picture you have let's say angel hair which is my favorite in a in a pan or a pot which i could do a whole video in pots and pans and knives as you know right so you have your pasta it's cooked and you've put your cream in and your butter and your cheese and your you've, you're stirring it around and it's still a little bit runny with a medium flame you want to put a whole egg or egg yolk you can really use a whole egg it's easier and you want to stir it. Now, this we're not looking for scrambled eggs, but a magic is going to happen because of the lecithin and something else that's in the egg you never heard of. <clears throat> and it's going to cause a thickening, and it will also add flavor. It's not an eggy flavor, but it's magic will happen when you put one egg in there for even a big serving like I would eat. You don't need more than one egg. And you will have rich thick creamy buttery you may have to screw with the recipe the ratios a little but if you find one make sure it's real cream real butter yeah and a, a large amount of cheese some of it's to taste you don't want so much that you just got big goops you know big meatballs of cheese but you want a lot of cheese 
and an egg. If it doesn't have those ingredients, you're looking at the wrong one. But there's a guy on YouTube, if you search like Alfredo sauce, he's in the first page. I can even think of it. It's a white dude and the stove is on the right side of the screen when you watch it. And his is made about right. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm going to end this row. Oh my god, this is so long. Today, uh, somebody's asking what I'm going to eat today. Dude, so many things <laughs> gave me a mouthgasm. Uh, at some point, probably later tonight, watching a movie or TV show I like, I will be having some ice cream. Oh boy. Uh, I don't know. I'm 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 watering at the mouth there's quite a few things I want and there's a shitload of stuff in the fridge and the freezer it's 20 30 different meals that the chef has made all right I'm gonna end it here so Legend.